uh, we'll do a small tutorial today how to prepare your own graphic for uh, FolienRabbit.at uh, custom goggle strap because there were some questions how to do this um, first click on the article and we will need a template to get uh, where your graphics need to be positioned so first you saw I clicked on print data um, you can have either here the PNG version or a second uh, PSD which is Photoshop file format so if you have some compatible uh, graphics program that understands this uh, like Photoshop, Photoshop Elements or a freeware alternative um, maybe even GIMP take this one so I already downloaded this and prepared it in Photoshop Elements 11 which I use here um, you see here already the graphics template uh, we'll use this as an overlay to see where we have positioned our graphics um, what does all the colors mean so in general you have to fill the whole area the whole graphic has to be filled with your image data uh, the parts that will be for sure visible are green yeah. so uh, why then all the other the gray stuff so quite easy uh, here this area and this area then this is where it will be sawn yeah so it will be stitched together uh, after printing um, so you have a battery compartment and and you have the, the uh, sleeve that you can uh, um, put in your goggles to mount it. Um, the, the other sleeve uh, will be on this side. Uh, this is all overfill. What means on top and bottom? Uh, the printing process is not always 100% accurate, so we need some play. Um, the green area is what is visible for sure. So I prepared some graphics um, because um, it's quite interesting for you to see where your graphics will be put and how long will be the strap and so on. I decided to use some, some scale. Um, that's it, that's our backdrop. Uh, it's not high enough. Uh, so I just copied the whole thing and now paste it in a new graphic. Oh, it's too small. No problem. Uh, first we align it on the right end. And then you see, I'll simply pull it up. Yes, I like that. I like that. Uh, so, we have the whole area filled now with this ruler and now we want to see where we need to position our text. I want to have text here on, on the battery compartment and I want my pilot call sign here on the back. So I'll do a little trick. I'll set transparency of this um, uh, backdrop layer to 60, 70, 50 percent, whatever you like, so I can see through my guides and everything. Uh, now I just take the text tool and uh, some text. Uh, Comic Sans, no, no, that doesn't help anybody. Um, let's 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 take um, stencil. Ah. That looks good. And now you see I positioned it exactly on the marker, it's centered now. Um, I can use this whole area. Let's zoom in a bit. I can use this whole green area or between the guidelines for my name or for my for my graphics of my team. So I scale it up a bit. 
position a bit further down uh, because now it comes um, I want to have some some nice effect some nice outline so it stands out from the backdrop currently it's just blah yeah doesn't if I set the back ground opacity you see it's not lifting up from the background so what I like to do in this case I just set some outline where is it where is it I'm now using it in English uh, let's just add a drop shadow it will be in the menu so go to the effects um, stroke it's called I want to set it white in this case. Yeah, that's that's better. Maybe. Yeah, yeah that's that's good. Like it. Okay, let's set back the opacity. Uh, you see, I also created a drop shadow, and it's nice to lift some objects. Uh, uh, to raise it optical from from the backdrop so if I remove it it's pretty flat like a sticker and now it looks like it's hovering the font is hovering about above my my ruler that's good let's add some image as well um, yeah let's take this one. This is already with transparency. I just copied it now. I thought I copied it now. Uh, select the layer. I always forget this. Copy it. Paste it. Size it accordingly. And now I want to have it positioned on my battery compartment. So this will be here. Oh, let's remove this. Let's remove that guideline. Okay, I can pull it up a little bit. This is white, so it lifts off from, from the background quite nicely. Um, maybe, maybe I... I'll change this this also to have white text with black outline so it matches better or I could recolor this one I'll, I'll change the color of this uh, somehow like this idea better. so now I know that it's called strokes in English oh nice it's good Go over here again, set the color to white. It's just currently inverted. Go back to the layer, set our. Ah, that was the wrong one, sorry. Uh, set the stroke of this to black. Yeah. I like that one. That's it basically. Uh, we can now continue to, to place other logos here. Um, for this I'll set the transparency again. Um, let's just copy this layer. If you have sponsor logos or something like that to position, uh, best practice would be to place it here and here, this is the area that is most likely visible because this area here, uh, depending on the side of your head, uh, it's possible that the buckle for adjusting the strap size uh, will be positioned above here. Yeah? So the closer you get to the rear head center, the more likely it is that the buckle is not uh, over the text or graphics. I'll just position it somewhere. Honestly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, let's make it nice. 
let's make it the same distance as the other logo. So I centered uh, zero now to, to the center of my text. I'll check out. This is here about 14 centimeters from the center. Let's make it precisely 14. Um, now position it to 14 centimeters on the other side. This one, I'll just position it with cursor keys now. Oops, 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 that was too much. Like this. Okay, we're good. Now what's left to do, set the uh, opacity back. I also hide this one. And now we can already export and save these graphics. Uh, use it in, in our shop when purchasing a head strap. So I'll say save for web in this case. PNG and 24 bit depth is okay because we have absolutely no transparency in here. I'll press save. So after I saved it here, I can now go to the uh, online shop and purchase the article with my newly created graphics. So I'll choose my file here. Top. It's done. It's already in here. Now I have to choose uh, if I want on the inside here. You see, you can see it here. If I want it with folienrabbit.at. Uh, you cannot see it when you wear your goggles. Uh, it's just a little attribution for us. Uh, if you want it without, it's one euro more. So I'll go with the small advertisement on the inside. Uh, here's thread color, this is the last option. Uh, you can choose which thread color should be used for sewing and stitching together uh, the belt. You see here it's black. Slow into it. This is would be thread color black. This here, here, and also here, and thread color white would be this example. That's it. I'll go for black now. Add to cart, and we're done. The file is uploaded. It's in our cart. All you need to do is check out and that's it. I hope it did help you with this small tutorial. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to ask.